In this topic, we will cover the various methods you can use to roll dice, and this applies to both players and DMs. The more efficient you can make this dice rolling process, the less chance there is of a tangent interrupting the overall flow of the game. A good example of this is the fighter's great weapon fighting style ability. It allows the player to re-roll damage when either a 1 or a 2 is rolled. With the classic version of the game, the player would then have to re-roll any die that came up with one of those values, and then the DM would have to recalculate the damage the NPC or creature took before the game could continue. With the new dice rolling features Fantasy Grounds Unity has introduced, it is now possible to create a die rolling statement that will automatically take care of re-rolling any 1 or a 2 that was rolled. This will save everyone time during the combat scenario and removes an interruption that tends to stall the overall flow of a given encounter. With that in mind, let's get started with the first thing players will have to do when they are first introduced to Fantasy Grounds interface and are connected to the DM system. Rolling Ability Stats as many of you may already know, in 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons there are 6 primary stats. Strength, Dexterity, Constitution, Intelligence, Wisdom, and Charisma. They define how strong, agile, hardy, bright, wise, and charismatic a given player character will be, and as a result they are of quite important stats to roll. Fantasy Grounds Unity, however, has given you, both the DM and the player, a number of ways with which to roll these actual stats. The first method is to simply take a die 6, much like this, while holding down the left mouse button, uh, right click on it three additional times, and then roll the particular dice within the chat window. The problem with that is, is that it is cumbersome. You have to literally pick up the die, right click three more times, and then roll. And you have to do that six times total. A more efficient way to do this would be to right click on the die six, select the four, and you don't have to keep holding anything down. Um, as long as you don't touch any other buttons, the die will remain within the, the control of the cursor. And then you roll them by clicking on the left button to release them. The problem is that is still not overly efficient. A more efficient way would be to, once again, right click on the die, grab the four, but instead of rolling it within the box, drop it into one of your quick slots. Now all you have to do is click that six times. Don't think I clicked it six times, but whatever. Now you have all of your stats, but you as the player and you as the DM still have to do some additional math. There's actually an even more efficient way to actually go about doing this. In the old version, uh, Fantasy Grounds Classic, there was the option to right click on this die and then select um, an option that allowed you to roll the die uh, specific for the attributes and it would automatically drop the lowest dice. However, that feature is not here in the Unity Edition. What is here though is this command. Um, four, six, one. So this command allows you to roll four die six, drop one of the lowest. So if I drag this with my left mouse button and drop it into that particular location, I'm going to quickly clear the screen here. And then I'm gonna click this six times. Not overly great rolls, but what you'll see is that when I rolled each of these particular die, you'll see one that is grayed out. And what that means is that that number was the lowest dice out of all of these particular rolls in a given set of rolls that was automatically dropped from the overall total that was here. So if you take the three, three, which is six, add the five, gives you 11. If you take the four, the two, that gives you six, plus the one gives you seven. As you can see, the one that is here is not added to the total value of this particular uh, result. Um, this is a far more efficient way to actually go through and calculate your stats. There's no additional math required. You can literally just drag and drop these stats into the slot that you want to uh, apply them to or the ability that you want to apply them to, and you don't have to do anything else to calculate anything um, for their total values. When you start applying the race, when you start applying the class and the backgrounds, all of the additional modifiers that are applied during that particular phase will apply to the results that you just simply dragged and dropped into place. This is a much easier way to do things, in my opinion.